Hi everyone. So first off, happy new year to you all. This is going to be an amazing start to an amazing decade and it's also gonna be a beautiful start to 2020. So if you are new to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. If you love cooking, if you love entertaining, if you love gardening, if you love to hear about different products you're thinking about buying, then I hope you consider subscribing to this channel because that's what we are all about. To all of my current subscribers, thank you for taking the time out of your schedule to watch our videos because if you notice, I am doing this video in the car because of a busy schedule. We just had guests leave for Christmas. We have guests coming for New Year's. As a matter of fact, I have to go home and wash the sheets, fluff some towels, get my menu together. And so I, I definitely understand. It's definitely, it's just life. That's part of it. But I know I wanted to have this video up on New Year's Day because like I said, it's going to be an amazing start. So First off, let me tell you how great this start is going to be, y'all. They are doing road work, and I need to get by. Let me tell you, and I don't know what these flags mean. Okay, so first off, we have some new and exciting things that are coming your way. So make sure, like I said, you subscribe, but also make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification every time that we upload a video because we do we have some good stuff coming now i wrote down some pointers y'all but you don't read and drive at the same time and especially when you're not on when you're on the back road but i just wanted to kind of reintroduce myself to you all because i'm really not a camera person but i have grown so many relationships online through YouTube and Instagram. Like this is just such a wonderful community. And I just told myself, you need to get out of this, get on the camera and just say what you need to say. So I thought about um, doing an Instagram post, but no, no offense to people who like to write long posts, but like me, I'm not finna, I'm not about to read like a whole bunch of stuff. So that's why I'm gonna make this video as short as possible because I don't want to take up any excess time of yours. I don't know what's going on today. But anyway, so I wanted to reintroduce myself to you all. So first off, my name is Ayana. And I'm just gonna tell you like this. I've had letters added to my name, taken away from my name. And so if it sounds anything like Ayana, I'm going to answer it. But <clears throat> if you have a difficult time and just can't get it, I tell people, just call me Anna because my name is spelled A-U-Y-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A, so we're just going to take off the A-U-Y and just call me Anna. I'm fine with that too, either or. Okay, so we got that part out the way. Hold on, y'all, because... All of a sudden, my throat is getting scratchy, but hold on. Let me take a drink of water and I'll come right back. Okay, so you see where I'm at. I am in my kitchen and let me just tell y'all why. I had to delete some stuff because here's the thing. I told y'all the video was not going to be long. I told you it was going to be all about reintroducing myself and you guys getting to know me. Y'all, I have an hour commute to and an hour commute from work, so two hours a day. And I was on that back road talking to y'all about everything. And I got like halfway and I said to myself, they gonna click off this video because you talking too much and you done went all the way down a rabbit hole, came back, start talking about something else. Just wait till you get home and stick to the script so that the video can be as short but to the point as possible okay so now that i am sitting down i should have no problem sticking to my script so let's get started with a little bit of who i am so first of all i am an accountant monday through friday sometimes on the weekend sometimes a little overtime depending on what month it is um 
to be honest, and I tell people this story, and I'm not going to tell a long story because I was telling this story down the back row. Um, I never thought I would end up in the accounting field. I actually have a degree in accounting and financial management, but I was studying to be a chartered financial analyst. I was going to really invest and advise and pick some good stocks. I had all type of spreadsheets, y'all, that had all type of formulas in there that gave you the return on the investment, the earnings per share. I would research a company. Did it pay out dividends? Like that was really what I was going for, but it's called life and life happens. And so for all of you who don't know, my husband is retired military. And life takes us all over the world, which I would not trade it for nothing in the world because I have had the opportunity to stay in Germany, in Japan, and in Italy. And let me tell you, just looking at the different cultures, I mean, this is stuff you can't record. Like, you just have to take it in and see it for yourself. I truly in enjoyed it. I truly enjoyed traveling. Like those are the places that we lived, but the different places that we visited like Switzerland and Austria and oh my gosh, just so many different places. And I just absolutely love it. And I would do it all over again. Okay. So next, let me tell you probably like the number one thing that I love to do and that is to feed people because, and comment below, comment below if you've ever seen someone angry or upset when they're eating or something like that because I noticed that when you feed people, everybody's happy, everybody's laughing, everybody's smiling, interacting. Like I've never, I can't think of a time that I've seen somebody angry or mad when they are eating. So I love to feed people. Like even now when they come over, if I have something ready in the garden, I'm like, hey, do you eat lettuce? Do you eat peppers or something? Or I have something in the refrigerator. You want to try this or you want to taste that. That's just who I am. And I'll tell you where this came from. Like I tell people this story and it's about my grandparents. So my grandfather, after he retired, owned a landscaping business, and I remember him picking us up from school. Now, while we didn't do any of the work, we just kind of sat in the van, watched him finish up after he picked us up from school, and then, you know, took us back to their house. But my grandmother, who loved to garden, now, let me just say this before I keep going. And I tell people this, and I wrote a post about it. I wish that we had have taken more pictures because my grandmother's garden, flower, and vegetable, it should have been on the cover of a magazine. But like I tell people, back in those days, back in the South, that just didn't happen. And we should have took more pictures because we had like the portable Polaroids. Um, I don't know if that's telling my age a little bit, but the portable Polaroids that you take and the film comes out, the instant, the instant cameras. So, like, my grandmother always had a garden. And back then, like I tell people, I do gardening because I love it. They garden because it was like a supplement, a necessity. They were on a fixed income. But here's the thing. Like, I've never seen food multiply but I guess the way I feel is when you're doing good and when you're doing good by people, this stuff happens. You know, like my grandparents didn't have a lot, but everybody was fed. Everybody in the neighborhood was fed. And I can remember every Sunday we would walk, walk like across the field to someone who was in a wheelchair and my grandmother would fix them dinner every Sunday. We would walk it over there. Whoever came in the house was fed because they knew where to find food at. And it's just amazing how she fed so many people, y'all. I'm talking about 
children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, brothers, uncle. I mean, she just fed everybody and it was always an abundance of food. And she actually lived till she was 99. And I just have to tell people, I really believe it was because of the works that she done. Like you reap what you sow. Like I've never seen my grandmother mad or fussing. And she always was so given, like seriously would give you her last. So that's where the gardening and the cooking and the entertaining, that's where all that came from because I was around that. And like I said, I never saw anyone upset while they were eating. Everybody was happy conversating and just looking at that garden and the different azaleas and the elephant ears. Uh, she had a crab apple tree. Like my aunt still stays in that house now and it's nowhere near like it was, but my aunt is older and there's no way she can keep up that either. Um, but like when I walk through the gate right now, when I go home to Columbus, I can just still picture all of that beauty that was around. And that kind of rubbed off into my mom because I can remember my grandmother sending home different cuttings. Uh, she would give her like a piece of this or a piece of that and my mom would put it in her garden. Now, let me tell y'all about my mom though. We were the gardeners and to this day, my sister hates gardening. She doesn't fool with flowers. She don't fool with none of that. So I guess it kind of rubbed off on me like we were the ones out there weeding um, and just doing all of the garden maintenance. And let me tell you, my mom was out. She was inside on the phone talking to Miss Aline. And if me and my sister was out there playing too much, she would knock on the window and you better get right. So, but I still love gardening. I do. I just, gardening to me is really therapy. It, it really is. It's really therapy. So that's how all of that came along for me. Okay, so moving right along, I told you that my husband was retired military. So when we stayed in different countries, we didn't always have a house. Like we stayed in like apartment complexes, we stayed in housing. Um, but no matter where I went, I've always incorporated some type of garden or gardening because we were gonna have a plant on the inside or plants we were gonna have something green. We were gonna see some flowers somewhere. So the only place I remember us really staying in a house was in Japan. But when you're in housing now, you can't go doing what you want to. You can't paint the walls whatever color that you want to. I mean, I guess you could unless you put it back once you leave, but you just can't have like free will to do what you want to. And that included the yard. But I did have a little small space in the front that had a nice flower garden. And the other places I did container garden and we always had plants inside because they're like air purifiers. We're gonna have something green no matter where we went. But I'm saying that to say no matter how big or small your space is, you can still incorporate some type of gardening if that's what you love to do. I will never forget in Italy, I felt like I felt so good because one of the maintenance guys came out to our, that was an apartment, uh, to look at something. And we had like a, a nice balcony. And on the balcony, I had a basil plant. And you know, basil is real popular in Italy. As a matter of fact, I hope I'm not pronouncing it wrong, but they called it basilico. So I thought I was, I was like, oh my gosh. Cause he was like, I forgot what you, call beautiful or whatever but he was talking of the basil because i had a big basil plant that was right on the patio and it was good and it was pretty if i do say so myself but the fact that somebody noticed it and i actually gave him some see i told y'all i like to feed people and give people i was like yeah take what you want to and that's actually where i learned to make pesto that's why i go grow basil to this day because when i stayed there every place we have been stationed i learn about it to the fullest like in italy i was taking cooking classes i was going to visit all the different um places that they had such a beautiful place so much history and i 
made sure that I took advantage of every moment that I could. And, and my family would get mad at me because they want to see pictures. I would tell them, hey, you need to come over and visit because I don't even think pictures could really explain what you were seeing. Like I would go on anything the USO offered or what type of trip, I was on it, okay? So I just incorporated gardening everywhere that I went. And so once we got here to the coastal Georgia area, I just like went crazy full on with gardening because I could do what I want to. I could do whatever I wanted to. Okay, so if you remember how I said gardening was therapy for me. So once we got to the coastal Georgia, I really got into gardening maybe about four years after we got here. Not really so much as at first, but I really, really got into it. Like it never, gardening really never left, but I just kind of slowed down a little bit. But then I started getting back into it, growing herbs, growing food, um, growing all type of things, not only flowers. Flowers are beautiful, but I really started getting into it because I tell people this story. At the time, now I'm not too much older, y'all, okay? But at the time, I was in my 30s. And you know how you just go get like a regular physical or go to the doctor about something. So the doctor start rattling off all of this stuff like high blood pressure, pre-diabetic. And I'm like, no way. I'm in my 30s at the time. I was, seriously. I'm like, no way. I am in my 30s. There's no way, you know? And then they said cancer. And I was like, uh-uh. I'm not going to accept that because I am still young and I have the world the world, I have so much more living to do, so much more to do. And so I will say that I got on high blood pressure medicine. And let me tell y'all, I was dizzy all the time. I was tired all the time. I was like, what in the world? So it's amazing how certain people are put in your life at a certain time. I have a coworker who I now call my friend who introduced me to a holistic doctor and that probably really changed my life because I at that time thought I was doing like healthy stuff. I mean, I was exercising, I was going to spin. Now I'm not going to lie, I wasn't eating like I was supposed to, but I wasn't eating bad. You know, like sometimes I slip, but Overall, I felt I wasn't doing like bad stuff, you know, but once I start going to the holistic doctor and really putting things together, I knew I had to go back to my roots. And I thought about my grandmother, like she lived to be 99 years old. What is the connection? The connection was food. Like, like I said, I wasn't eating bad, but we were eating out. Um, now, since I've started growing food, sometimes when I eat out, I could like taste the salt. And I mean salt, salt, like a lot of salt or a lot of sugar. So I knew that connection was food. And I was like, you know what? Mm -mm. You are going to have to regroup and you're going to have to get yourself together. And so that's what I did. That's what I did. And that's really why I started like growing my own stuff. And although y'all, although my husband does not like to garden, when I, for example, um, now we're growing lettuce and collards and stuff like that. And so when he tastes the food or I make him taste it, like he can tell the difference. Like the taste of it is strong. It tastes like what you remember when you were a child. Like that's the taste. And so when I have to buy stuff at the store, when it's not in season, it doesn't taste like anything. So that's why now I'm really trying to grow stuff and eat stuff that's in season and grow my own stuff because the connection was the food. And like I tell people, I'm looking down y'all cause I gotta stay on track, yes. Like I tell people, 
I really went back to my roots because nobody wants to hear that at such a young age, all of that stuff. Like I didn't want to hear it and I was not going to accept it. And I knew I had the control to do something about it. And so that's what I did. Okay, so here is the thing. I am not where I want to be, but I'm not where I used to be. I have grown. And let me just say this too. Stress is not good. There have been times that I have stressed myself out. And that's one thing my holistic doctor was telling me is stress can really affect your body, which was what I was doing. And when the doctor was telling me all these different things, at the time, my husband was in Kuwait, okay? And this is the thing. Military spouses are phenomenal because we take a lot of, we have to put on or carry, I would say, a lot of stress, especially if your husband is downrange or TDY or something like that. We have to take on, we have to do a lot, and then just the stress of your husband being somewhere and everything that's going on in the world. Like it is a lot. And I knew I was stressing. I knew I was stressing from work. I knew I was stressing from my husband being gone when you have kids and this, that, and the other. So one thing I am going to start doing more of in 2020 is just meditating and just clearing your mind because you hear a lot of people straight say stress kills, like it really can kill. Stress is not good. So over the years, I have learned the stuff I used to spaz out over, I don't even worry about it anymore. So, okay, y'all, let's get back to what we are doing because we are almost done. So like I said, here is to a beautiful year, a beautiful decade. And so the thing I tell people now, because um, as far as gardening, because y'all, let me tell you. Okay, we're not going to make this a story time. Y'all talk to so many people like around my area at the big box stores, and we just have conversations. This is no lie. This is no lie. And then I'm ending this video. Uh, I want to say maybe like a week ago, my husband took me to the big box store. Y'all, he had went to sleep, woke up, was watching something on the phone and was wondering where I was. I have, I know I was talking to this lady for like 45 minutes in the store, talking about all kind of stuff gardening. But what I do tell people is just plant, just plant one seed and watch it grow. Y'all don't know how many plants I have killed, okay? It's a learning process and learning is what it's about. If you learned it and you know what to do, then you tr you keep trying until you get it right. I still kill plants today, okay? I'm not an expert and I just learn and I research and I do. I can look back on where I was a few years ago and even when we were overseas versus versus now, I have really came a long way, but you don't, you know, unless it's a gift, because everybody has a gift, you don't wake up just knowing every single thing to do. So just plant a seed and just watch it grow. And again, y'all, happy new year. This is going to be a great new year. Like I said, we have some new and exciting things coming your way. So make sure you are subscribed and make sure the bell is on for notification. So I think I'm done with my script. I probably added in a little bit more. The washing machine is done because our guests will be coming, I think, tomorrow. So I have to go make up the bed now. But as always, and I'll link the video. I'll link the video because these are our sweet potato slips I have over here. So as always, thank you all so much for just sticking with me, getting to know me. Thank you so much for watching this video and taking the time out of your day. And I hope you give this video a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, we will absolutely 
love. We would love to have you as a subscriber. So make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching and just sticking with me throughout this video. And until the next video, bye-bye. Y'all, I'm getting tired. I'm going to drink me some chamomile tea and make this bed up. And I think I'm going to call it a night. But again, Happy New Year. Bye-bye. Thank you.